Leave a like on this video within the next five seconds for NBA 2K21 to have the best build system of all time. I would not risk it. All right, before we go too far into this video, I want to make sure that I go over this, bro. We've been going so crazy with the subs, the views, the likes, everything. But somehow still 95% of y'all that are watching my videos aren't even subscribed. Hit that sub button for me. Y'all know I be going crazy. Hit that sub button for me. Yo, what's up with YouTube? It's your boy Fizz back in the video with yet another video. And today I'm coming to you guys with the best center build in the game. And this is going to be the best paint beast build in the game. Now I'm gonna give you two different ways to make a paint beast. Now, um, there's a very, very popular way to make it, and I'm gonna give you pretty much like what I think is the best paint beast build. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna do all this in one video. Now I've already given you guys the best point guard build, the best power forward build, and the best shooting guard build. All we got left to do is the best small forward build. So if you guys want that joint to come out as soon as possible, get this video to 300 likes and I got that joint coming out for y'all as soon as possible. Now, tomorrow we will be having another sub session. So if you wanna be in there, man, just go ahead and have me add it on Xbox and I got y'all with that. It's just that simple. But again, man, um, not more talking really to really even say. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Let's go! All right, so starting it off, we obviously gonna be making the position that we're gonna go with is going to be at the center position. Almost say point guard right there, but yeah, we're going with the center position. This is the best center build in the game. All right, next is going to be the skill breakdown. So for the skill breakdown, the pie chart we're gonna go with is gonna really be affecting what Hall of Fame badges we get and the max cap. So for the uh skill breakdown pie chart that we chose, but this build is going to be the all red. Now, this is the most popular way to make it because what people want to be able to have is that high as possible rebounding. So, yeah, that's really what, really what we're going to make it for this build. We're going to go over a whole completely different build later on in the video. Now, for this build, we are going to go over the best way with the most badges and stuff like that. And we're going to go over my way. So, yeah. Next is going to be the physical profile. This is where you're going to get your max cast for your speed, strength, acceleration, and vertical. I will go with the balanced one. All right, so hopping straight into the attributes. So, for the attributes, this this is gonna be pretty much like the best way to make it and to be able to get the most badges at the same time so with that being said now this is not gonna be the most badges you can possibly get on this build I am NOT saying that but what I am saying this is the best way to make it and be able to get the most badges possible because if you you can go more badges but you're not gonna have a perimeter defense and you want to be able to have as high as a possible perimeter defense possible now with that being said to make this build you want to go for the finishing you want to go close shot stand and dunk Driving dunk, driving layup, or max. And then you got post hook up to a 53 to be, get those 15 finishing badges. Then for the shooting, you really don't touch anything on the shooting. Playmaking, you got pass accuracy max. Post moves up to an 80, or not an 81, a 61. Then ball handle is not touched to be able to get those three playmaking badges. Then for the defensive rebound, we went interior defense, perimeter defense, lateral quickness, block, offensive rebound, and defensive rebound, all max. And we got 30, 30 defensive rebound badges so yeah man um this is pretty much the best way to make it now we're gonna go over the way i would make it now for the way i would make it now the way i would make it i would want to be able to have a steal because i don't necessarily think it's necessary to have those two finishing badges because you know what i'm saying 13 is enough you know what i'm saying in my opinion especially if you're not getting hall of fame if you're only getting gold i believe 13 is enough so to make this build for the finishing you're gonna have a close shot of a 83 
Driving, driving dunk and driving layup, standing dunk is all going to be matched just like the close shot. Post hook is up to a 33 to be able to get that 13th badge upgrade. Then for the playmaking, pretty much the same as the last time. Pass accuracy, post moves max just to be able to get those three playmaking badges. Shooting is not touched. Defense rebound or for the defensive rebounding, pretty much everything is max. We really want to go with the steal because if you don't know, that's how you get own ball steals and it's going to be helping you in the passing lane. That's really the reason why I had to steal up on this one is because you really want to have those passing lane steals. And if you have it low, it's going to be a lot harder. So yeah, that's the why I would make it this way pretty much. But yeah, man, um, all we got left to go over on this build is going to be the height, weight, wingspan. Let's go ahead, go straight into that. All right, so next is going to be the body type and the height. So for the body type, I would go burly on any big man build because that's going to be helping you set the biggest, best screens possible. And then for the height, I would go 6 foot 10 and 6 foot 11. It really depends on what you'd rather. But yeah, I would personally go 6 foot 10. All right, so next is going to be the weight. So for the weight, the weight I would go with on this build is 261 pounds. That's going to get you 95 strength and 95 interior defense. While you are going to lose stuff in your lateral quickness, acceleration, and vertical, you really do want that, not lateral, but interior defense and strength to be at 95. All right, next is going to be the wingspan. So for the wingspan, you want to go with the max wingspan. Now, right here is where we're going to be able to see our max caps at 95. That's going to be at 95. Now, when you hit 96, 97, 98, 99, 99.9, that's going to be going up plus one to plus five. If you get gym rat badge, that can go up another plus four. So your gym rat badge only affects your physicals, but everything else can get affected by you going up to 99.9 .9. now for the physicals that can go up to plus nine so you can get your speed up to an 81 your vertical up to a 76 i loki almost had a brain fart right there i'm not gonna lie chat but um acceleration is gonna be up to a 73 and then for literally everything else you see on the screen that can literally go up plus five so you're gonna be able to have a 99 interior defense 99 block 99 offense rebound 99 defense rebound <laughs> like everything like like that's just ridiculous i'm not gonna lie it's just a ridiculous build man and yeah let's go ahead and get into the best takeover for this build all right so the best takeover for this build in my opinion is going to be the glass cleaner takeover it's just gonna be that much better you know what i'm saying it's just a really really good takeover it's probably the best big man takeover in the game so yeah and the build comes out as a paint bee similar to bill russell DeAndre Jordan and Clint Capella. Those are very good, similar two builds. Now, all we got left to go over is the best bad setups for this build. Let's go ahead and get straight into that. And all right, for the best finishing bad setup for this build, we're going to go with silver putback boss and silver pick and roller. That really depends on the way you play. If you like going in the post more, go ahead, put on silver back down punisher and silver drop step. Drop Silver drop stepper is probably the best badge out of those four badges. But if you're going to do like free boards and you're going to do screens, I would do pick and roller and put back boss. Then for the other four badges, we have Slither Finisher, Relentless Finisher, Contact Finisher, and Live City Finisher. That's a lot of finishers, but Relentless Finisher is going to help you be able to throw down contact dunks, dunks, layups, and be able to catch lobs, especially make them at a higher rate, especially when fatigued. Live City Finisher is going to help you be able to catch lobs faster, do faster animations on lobs, dunk faster, dunk more, all type of stuff like that. Then we got Contact Finisher because if you have, this is a build that can get contact dunks eventually. So with that being said, it's going to help you finish through any type of contact in the paint, whether you do a contact layup, contact dunk, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, once you have the contact dunks equipped, that's 20%. Then when you put contact finisher up, uh, upgrade, that's 15%. So at bronze, it's going to be 35%. Silver is going to be 50%. Gold is going to be 65%. But there are a lot of negatives to contact finisher. So we do like to go with slithery finisher so that we can get the best animations possible. And it cancels out contact finisher. So yeah, that's going to be really, really a double, double, double for the positive. So yeah, man, this is the best finishing bass setup for this build. All right, next is going to be the best shooting bad setup for this build. We're just going to be putting on slippery off ball. That's going to be making you that much better in the pick and roll situation. So yeah, man, I would go with slippery off ball on this build. And then next is going to be the best playmaking bad setup. The only reason we even went for three playmaking badges on this build was strictly be able to get that quick first step gold. And that's going to be really catching your people off guard when you're getting the ball and just trying to drive. So yeah, man, quick first step gold is going to be a very, very important badge to have on this build. And then last but not least, before we go over the other Paint Beast build, we're going to go over the best defensive rebound badge setup for this build. So for the best defensive rebound badge setup for this build, we got 
Hall of Fame Chase Down artist that's gonna really be helping you get the best Chase Down block animations every single time, especially for people that wanna rim run. Intuitive is gonna help you get the best shot contest possible. Pogo Stick is gonna really reduce the height advantage in this game. That's why you can really go undersized on these big man builds on this game. So yeah, man, you really wanna have Pogo Stick. That's gonna be very, very important. One of the most broken badges in the game, by the way. Rim Protector is gonna be enhancing all those badges, Chase Down artist, Intimidator, Pogo Stick, and it's gonna be able to put people into block animations just like people can be, get put into contact dunk animations you can put people into block animations and this badge also unlocks snatch block animations then we got brick wall to set the biggest the best screens in the game rebound sister is also to help you get the best snag animations in the game then we got interceptor to play the best passing lane defense in the game then we got clamps to play the best on ball defense in the game now is it the best on ball defense possible is it the best passing lane defense possible no because it's not at hall of fame but at silver it's going to actually help a lot especially on clamps now silver interceptor isn't going to be as good as silver clamps but silver clamps is going to help you play the best on ball defense possible now it doesn't really Really matter like for this big man build i would guess you're pretty much going to be getting switched on you know what i'm saying you're probably gonna have to switch and guard the guard but this can help you play full court half court screens iso it doesn't really matter then we got moving truck for the people that want to go into the post you got that joint on silver so that you can be able to stand your ground and not get moved around in the post so yeah man this is the best defensive rebounding bad setup for this build All right, so now we're hopping into the other type of paint beast build. Now, this is going to be also at the center position because this is, again, the best center build in the game. All right, next is going to be the skill breakdown. This is where you're going to be going for pretty much, like I said earlier, this is going to get your max caps and your Hall of Fame badges. On this one, we're going to go with finishing and defensive rebound badges that's gonna get you hall of fame finishing and defensive rebound badges next is going to be the physical profile i already went over what these pie charts do and the pie chart we're going to choose is the balanced pie chart and that's going to be get, keep everything as high as possible while also giving us a 95 strength all right next is going to be the actors now for the actors we've got three different types of ways of making it. i got the best way and to be able to have the most badges and i got the way i would make it and then i got the best shooting way so yeah, we got three different ways, man. This is, might be a longer video, but trust me, I'm, not, I'm trying to do my best to go in detail on how to make the best center build for y'all boys. So yeah, for the first way, we're gonna go over this way, and it's gonna be 21 finishing, one shooting, 12 playmaking, and 24 defensive rebounding. So for the finishing, we got close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, standing dunk. Post hook is going to be at a 73. Pretty much everything else is gonna be maxed, but post hook is gonna be at a 73 just to be able to get that 21 finishing badge upgrades. Then for the shooting, we have nothing. Then for the playmaker, we have pass accuracy and post moves, and then we got ball handle up to a 43 to be able to have that 12th badge upgrade for the playmaking. Then for the defensive rebounding, we have interior defense, lateral quickness, block, offensive rebound, and defensive rebound all matching. Then we have perimeter defense up to a 44 to get that 24th badge upgrade on the defensive rebounding badge. So yeah, man, that's going to be pretty much the best way to make it if you want to get the most badges out of it. Now, that's is that the most badges possible? No. But that is going to be the best combination of best way and to get the most badges out of it, if you know what I mean. All right, next is going to be the way I would make it. So the way I would make it, I would make sure to have a hot max perimeter defense and max interior defense because that's going to make a big difference on your shot contest. So yeah, you want to have that max. And then we got lateral quickness max, block max, offensive rebound max, and then defensive rebound max. And then we got a steal of a 41 because if you don't know, steal is going to help you play passing lane. Now, three steal is not going to make the big difference because we only have a 41 steal, but that's going to get us 25 defensive rebound badges. Then for the playmaker, we have a pass accuracy max, and then we got post moves up to a 75 to be able to get that 10th playmaking badge. Then for the finishing, we have a close shot max, driving layup max, driving dunk max, standing dunk max, and post hook at a 64. Now, with that being said, if you put your driving layup down and then go post hook max and then do a driving layup, that will get you more total finishing badges. But with that being said, this is the way I would make it. Next is going to be the shooting way. So for the shooting way, the best way to get the most badges out of it and be able to have uh, ability to shoot, you want to go pretty much everything on shooting is going to be maxed to be able to get those seven shooting badge upgrades. Now, with that being said, you're going to get 19 finishing. So for the finishing, if you want to get more out of the finishing, you can go max post hook like I was saying earlier and then go up on your driving layup. But I would rather go like this and be able to have a close shot max, driving layup max, driving dunk max, standing dunk max, and then the post hook up to a 55. And then we have nothing on playmaking. 
And then we got defensive rebound. We're gonna have defensive rebound is gonna be max. Offensive rebound max, blocks max, and lateral quickness max, and then interior defense is gonna be max. And then we have four left over for the perimeter defense to go up four. And that's gonna get us 24 defensive rebound badges. This is the best way to make it if you wanna have a shooting paint beast build. All we got left to go over is the height, weight, wingspan, the takeover, and then the best bad setup for this build. And when we go with the best bad setup, we're gonna pretty much be taking the best of everything that we just went over. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and get straight into that. All right, so for the height, we're gonna go over the body type and height. So for the body type, I would go burly. You wanna be as big as possible so you can set the best screens, play the best defense possible. Because you're not really worried about dribbling on a big man build. So yeah, you wanna go with burly to be the biggest size possible pause and then we got the height i wouldn't go six foot 11 on this build because well actually you can go six foot 10 or six foot 11 i should have said you should only go six foot 10 on the other one but my bad but yeah you can go six foot 10 or six and 11 because you're gonna eventually be able to get contact dunks either way on this one on the other one you only want to go six foot 10 because you can get contact dunks and be as fast as possible next is going to be the weight the weight that you want to go with on this build is 276 pounds it's going to get you as high as possible interior defense while also helping your strength to be as high as possible all right next is going to be the wingspan we're going to go max wingspan because we're a big man build that's going to really just help you that much more on defense and getting boards and stuff like that but also this is where you're going to get your all your max things for when you're going to be 95 because if you don't know everything that you're going to see on the screen is what your stats going to be at 95 now once you hit 96 97 98 99 and 99.9 .9, you can go up plus one to plus five now once you hit 99.9 it's going to be plus five to everything that you see on the screen then for the physicals you can go up another plus four or with gym rat bats so you can get your speed to an 80 your vertical up to a 75 and your acceleration up to a 70 and so yeah strength is obviously going to get up to a 99 either way and then yeah so um yeah you can be able to get eventually get all the content dunks with the build even even the uh elites because you are starting off at an 84 um everything that you see on defense can go up plus five and stuff like that so yeah man this just makes this build just that much more glitchy all right, next is going to be the best takeover for this build. The best takeover hand downs for this build is going to be glass the takeover. And then the build comes out as a paint beast build, similar to Bill Russell again, Clint Capella again, and then Hassan Whiteside. So yeah, man, that is going to be this build. All we got left to go over is the best bad setups for this build. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and get into that. And when I went over these, I went over the most we possibly got for every single type of build we made. So yeah, man, we're going to get into that right now. All right, so for here, we're gonna go over the best finishing bad setup for 22 badge upgrades. So we have Hall of Fame, Relentless Finisher, Hall of Fame Content Finisher, Hall of Fame Slippery Finisher, Hall of Fame Lost City Finisher, and Gold Putback Boss, and Gold Pick and Roller. Pick and Roller and Putback Boss, you can flip flop those with Back Down Punisher and Drop Stepper depending on the way you play. But I would think if you're making this build, you're gonna be setting screens and be playing for free boards. So Putback Boss is gonna help you with free boards, and Pick and Roller is gonna help you with the screen and then rolling so yeah and then we got content finisher because if you i've already went over this earlier if you have the content that's 20 percent as soon as you go up upgrade every upgrade is 15 percent so at bronze it's gonna be 35 percent silver is gonna be 50 percent gold is gonna be 65 percent and hall of fame is gonna be 80 percent chance of a contact dunk and it's also gonna be helping you pretty much with contact layups any type of contact stuff in the paint it's gonna really help you just finish through content now there are a lot of negatives to contact finisher so that's why we have slowly finisher to be able to get the best animations possible just that simple and then we got really this finisher that's gonna be really helping you finish through contact dunks layups contact layups it doesn't really matter even lobs as long as you're just doing anything in the paint, it's gonna help you finish that, especially when you're fatigued. Live City Finisher is gonna be a really big deal when it comes to help you pretty much do faster animations on lives, be able to catch lives through traffic, be able to catch lives out of people's hands and stuff like that. It's gonna really just be the best thing you wanna do. And then we got Slowly Finisher, I'm gonna go over this again because I didn't really fully go in detail on this. This is the best animations possible and it's gonna be, a, it be really much me making you dunk more, but also be able to create as little contact as possible so it go hand in hand with contact finisher so yeah um that's the best finishing bad setup for this build all right next is going to be the best shooting bad setup for this build so we got silver quick draw because that's the best quick draw hot zone hunter gold because when you get hot zones your green winner is going to be getting that much bigger because your make percentage gets higher with hot zones and then when you go with hot zone hunter gold on top of that that's just gonna be making that bigger of a difference. Then we got silver corner specialist because that's the best bang for your buck corner specialist. And we had no more bad upgrades left over and you're most likely gonna be sitting in the corner with this build. So yeah, man, corner specialist, silver is gonna be the best thing to go with this build. And that's the best shooting bad setup for this build. All right, next is going to be the best playmaking bad setup for this build. We have 12 playmaking badges to work with. 
and we have needle threader go, post spin technician go, quick first step go, unpluckable silver, and bell out front. So needle threader is gonna be helping you making the best and fastest passes possible. Post spin technician is gonna be helping you do the best post spin animations to get around your defender. Quick first step is gonna be making you that much faster with the ball, and it makes the biggest difference on fields that have the lowest ball control and small, lower speed with ball. So yeah, man, quick first step is gonna actually make a big difference on this build. Unpluckable is gonna help you get, get not get ripped as much as possible now if you don't have it on you're gonna get ripped a lot if you have it on you're gonna get ripped a lot now with that being said you literally just have to have that badge on it's just that simple you know what i'm saying it's just that simple no other way around it then you got bail out that's the best bronze badge in the game so yeah man that's the best playmaking bad setup for this build and last but not least is going to be the defensive rebounding bad setup for this build. So for the defensive rebounding bad setup for this build, you're going to have 25 upgrades to work with. So we're going to have Hall of Fame Intimidator, Hall of Fame Pogo Stick. Intimidator is going to get you the best shot contest possible. Pogo Stick is going to be really neutralizing the height advantage in this game. And it's going to be really making the biggest difference on this game for your interior defense. And... It's probably the most broken badge in the game. And then we got Brick Wall, Hall of Fame to be able to set the best screens possible. Rebound Chaser to be able to get the best snag animations possible. Brick Wall also helps you with like, if you're setting screens, it's gonna be taking people's energy. If you're boxing out, taking people's energy. Anytime you're getting, creating any type of contract, you're gonna be draining people's energy. It's like Bruiser and Brick Wall combined into one badge brick wall and then we got chase down artists that's gonna be really pretty much giving you almost the best chase down block animations possible so yeah and then we got rim protector to, to enhance chase down artists intimidator and pogo stick and then rim protector is gonna be making a big difference but not only does it do that it puts people into block animation just like contact finisher and contact dunks put people into animations remember to put gets block animation that puts people into block animations and this also unlocks snatch blocks so yeah man remember that this is probably one of the best defensive badges in the game then we got intercepted to play the best passing lane defense possible so yeah man that's the best defensive rebounding bad setup for this build but yeah man that's the best center build in the game i went over two different ways to make it and i went over like two different ways to make it for each variety of way to make it and on the second one i went over three different ways but yeah man i went over pretty much the best position the best pie charts the best <laughs> attributes five different ways you know what i said i'm just gonna say that i went over five different ways best height weight wingspan best takeover and then the best bad setups for both different builds man so yeah man for that alone please leave a like on the video if you enjoy subscribe you man Please, if I helped y'all in any way, hit that like button. It's just that simple, man. The 2K20 is coming to an end, man. I only have one more. I don't really have too many more build videos. I'm not going to say I only have one more. I don't have too many more build videos coming out. Uh, Pretty much in August, I'm pretty much really mainly focused on 2K21. That's why I'm trying to round out these videos right now. I'm going to have a best, the three best builds coming out next week for sure. That's going to be like a rankings video. That's not really like me just particularly going over one build like I'm doing in these videos. But yeah, man, like I said, leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you new. We got more videos coming out every single day. Share this video to anybody that will help. Uh, Make sure you got on them notice because we... We've been going crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. But, um, yeah, man, like I said, if you guys want the best small for build, get this video 300 likes. But, yeah, man, it's your boy, Fitz, man. And I'm about to be, man. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! Tell them to clown. Walk through the city, they taking you out. Bitches be talking, they running, they bow. A bag in the back and a stick in the car. You know what it's about. Uh -huh. Had to cope with all the pain, so I'm about to die, man. Uh -huh. They say he going.